When it heats up outside, so does your car battery. Yeah, in fact, AAA Colorado has seen a surge in roadside assistance requests this month as cars struggle to operate in our extreme heat. Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, from Keller Brothers Auto Repair, is live to talk about how to take care of your car's battery in the summer months. Hi, David. Hey, good morning, Tom. How you doing, Natalie? We uh, are absolutely true when we talk about hot weather and batteries. It's the worst thing that can happen to a battery is a long period of hot weather. I'm going to show you a couple of things. You know, here's a battery that was taken out of a car uh, here just this week. You can see the corrosion around it. This is really an, an excessive uh, uh, example. What I'm going to do here is show you how to do this at home, how to clean this up. This one's a little past it. That should be replaced. But when you start to get a little bit of corrosion, get some baking soda, pour it into something, and then let's put a, a nice little bit of hot water right in there with that baking soda. And then I'm going to stir this up. Don't, I'm not going to use my finger because you can see that's really, really hot. But uh, once we stir that up a little bit, we make just a, a thick mixture of it. You can hear it kind of fizzing and bubbling. And then you would take the connectors and put them in there. And you can see how that cleans it and it foams right up. It's really taking that corrosion right off that battery, and it may take a little while. Now, that's a great way to do it. This is less than a buck. Another thing you can do, you want to play with some fancy chemicals, there's battery cleaner spray. We can spray that on there, and it'll clean it too. You can see how it's foaming and cleaning that off. Now, after I clean the battery, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a terminal protectant, and I'm not going to use that now because I don't have time and we need to clean it up. But once you clean that, wipe it off, rinse it and then put a, a protectant spray on it and it'll keep it from corroding for very long. A couple of things that you should know about battery corrosion. This is the hold down that straps a battery down in the car and you can see here where it's corroding and that will deteriorate that hold down and allow it to become loose and then the battery can move around and fall and not only cause the vehicle to fail but it can also damage other things as well that it might bump into. When you do a battery service, sometimes the best thing to do is to replace the cable ends. It's really, really easy. You just unhook them, you loosen them up here, pull them off and put a new one on. If you pull the cable end off and you see corrosion underneath there, the whole cable needs to be replaced. Many vehicles have complicated cables and they go right into the wiring harness and if you find something like that and it looks like the cable is connected to a lot of things and you're uncomfortable, get a professional technician to replace the cable for you. It'll be a lot safer. Last thing I'm going to tell you, AAA says you should have your battery checked at least twice a year in your entire vehicle's charging system. You know, we have machines today. It's about a $3,000 diagnostic tool, but this thing will actually tell me on a battery that's out what the condition is and how long the battery might last. It will also tell me whether the alternator in the car, if the battery's inside the car when I test it, it will tell me whether the alternator is okay and whether it's actually charging the battery or not. You know, it's, this is asking me what the estimated age is on the battery, and I'm going to go in here and tell it that it's a new one, and we'll hit enter, and this thing's going to go through a computer process, and it's going to tell us, you know, hopefully, exactly what the deal is. It says we've got a good battery here, okay, and it's got more cranking amps than necessary. So it's a good idea to get that done just a couple of times a year and make sure that your car is going to get you where you need to go.